Hi, my name is Kelly Monahan, and I'll be reading for Ruth Greenberg. My name is Ruth Greenberg of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. That's a bit of a mouthful, and people don't always quite hit the nail on the head. We've been called everything from the Christian Nonviolent Communist Integration Organization to, my favorite, the Non-Student Violating Uncoordinating Committee. And people in Mississippi, they call us names full of four-letter words. They don't like us disturbing their way of life, but that's what we do at SNCC. We disturb the peace. But if that's what they call peace in Mississippi, I would hate to see what they call war. SNCC is a collection of mobile organizers. We go wherever there is a need and stay only as long as we're wanted. And there's talks these days of rivalries between civil rights groups, but that's not really a problem for us, at least not on the local level, because the places we organize are often too dangerous or hostile for other groups. I can't say that I ever expected or even wanted to be here in Chicago. I'd been registering voters and teaching at Freedom School in Greenwood, and I'd been picketing and sitting in and protesting in Jackson. I attended the mass meeting at Pearl Street AME Church and heard the last speech Medgar Evers would ever give. He was killed in his driveway just a few days later. Times are tough for the movement in Mississippi, so I was shocked to be sent to Chicago. How bad could it be? Schools in Mississippi are 100% segregated, and not 99.9%, 100% segregated. Negro schools are overcrowded. The school buildings for Negroes are falling apart. Negro children don't have enough textbooks, and the textbooks that they do have are outdated and in disrepair. And men like Governor Barnett and Senator Eastland, who are sworn to keep it that way. What I have now seen in Chicago public schools, I've seen before in Mississippi. Over 90% segregated. Negro schools severely overcrowded. School buildings are in disrepair and not enough textbooks. And men like Superintendent Benjamin Willis sworn to keep it that way. So I'm here now, and I'm here to stay as long as it takes. Your fight is our fight. My fight. I've lost count of how many mass meetings I've been to. I remember the first time I ever got the courage to speak at one. It was after the Freedom Rides, and I have never been so nervous or so proud. But one of the greatest honors of my entire life happened just a few weeks ago when I was asked to lead a freedom song. You see, at SNCC, not just anybody can start a freedom song. You have to earn it. Jim Foreman just looked at me and said, Well, Ruthie, what you gonna sing? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Again, I'm Kelly Monahan. Thank you so much for your consideration.